the Opus Binding Tower Assembly and Operation video. Equipment and supplies used. Unpacking and assembling. Unpack the equipment and remove all the parts from the transit packing. Plug in and switch on the coverator to warm up. Always remember to refer to the user guide manual. Assembling the Atlas 300 Mono. Fit the handle to the spindle at the side firmly with a 6mm bolt and allen key provided. Now fit the extended back support using the thumb screws provided. Remove the required binding bar with the ruler from the side and place it in the binding slot at the back. Now the second guide bar on the top or front of the binding jaw as required. Place the adjustable stop guide on the back support and lock in position, positioning guide for the feet of the Atlas 300. Put the Atlas 300 on the top, place the trimmer with the magnet feet on top, operating your Opus binding tower. Print your graphics using the Opus pre-prepared silver paper or other types of paper. Put the graphics into the O pouch cover. Make sure the anti-bending lever is fully to the left. See the user guide manual. Put into the carrier, making sure that the sealed edge of the O pouch cover and carrier go into the slot first. Take the O pouch cover from the back and remove the carrier. Measure the covers and documents together using the channel size tool for correct channel. Diagram 1, 1.5 to 3 mm channels. Diagram 2, 5 to 32 mm channels. This is the front of the channel with a special lip which keeps the presentation completely flat. This is the back of the metal bind channel which bends in to clamp the covers plus the documents firmly. The texture and the color of the channels match the covers. Put the channel into the slot with a special lip to the back and clamp the channel firmly. Place the documents between the covers, put them into the channel, back of the presentation facing you. Now bind the presentation. Second type of O-pouch cover. To trim the graphics, set the stops to the size you want, then trim. Put the graphics into the O-pouch cover. Make sure the anti-bending lever is fully to the left. See the user guide manual. Put it into the carrier, making sure the sealed edge of the O-pouch cover and the carrier goes into the slot first. Take the O-pouch cover from the back and remove the carrier. Move the adjustable side guide so that the channel is centered in the binding slot. Put the channel into the binding slot with a special lip to the back and clamp the channel firmly. Place the documents between the cover, put into the channel, 
back of the presentation facing you. Now bind the presentation. Hot print stamping embossing. Remove the trimmer, adjustable side guide and binding bath. Fit the image press onto the hooks. Turn it on and set the temperature. Now prepare your typeface or matrix in the frame. Put the frame onto the image press. Put the foil over the heater, dull side facing the cover and hold in place with the magnet. Put the cover into the slot, move the clamp lever to the right, push the binding handle down, hold for about 3 seconds, lift the handle up, move the clamp lever to the left, remove the cover and peel off the foil. Debinding a presentation. Open the presentation about 6 pages from the back. Take the debinding tool and place it between the pages with the flat side facing the front cover. Place the debinding tool on the hooks, slide the clamp lever to the right. Hold the clamp lever and push down the handle partly. Move the clamp lever over again, push down the handle again and repeat until the presentation is debound. These are the results you can get from using the Opus Binding Tower.